So I'm going to start cutting tiles for the border of the buffalo skull mosaic and I want the edge to look um, sort of quite broken and quite dry. I want, I want it to look like the texture of almost skull. So I'm just going to do four cuts in each tile and they won't break perfectly but we don't want them to break perfectly we want them to have like an edge and a rusticness to them so I'm just putting the center of the cutter in the middle cut cut and cut and aiming down so everything is contained nothing flies off and it all goes into the pot to do um, the border tiles. So the border consists of the black tiles we cut earlier and again the same tiles that we're using for um, the, the skull. So we're just going to cut those in half. These tiles are really easy to cut, so wonderful. And another top tip with these tiles, the ridges underneath, that's the bottom of the tile, they're designed for the glue to go in. So when you stick it down, the glue goes into the little ridges and makes a good sort of suction. So these tiles go flat side up, not ridge side up. We're going to use these absolutely beautiful tiles. Now what we're going to do is cut them in half like that and then cut each one into halves again. Now these are ones that you do want to get sort of pretty straight if possible. If you were to just go cut, 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 they wouldn't be as, as straight as those. So the easiest way, in half, and then carefully, middle of the tile, half again. So take your time with these cuts. to the gold tiles for the um, center of um, the, the buffalo's forehead. So we're going to cut these ones in half. And then facing the tile down into your container Cut several evenly spaced. You can choose how fine or how thick you want to go. That's totally up to you. I'm doing sort of four, four or five cuts on each half. It's good if they're roughly the same, uh, the same size, but it doesn't matter if, if they're not completely at all. And then onto the um, onto the buffalo's horns. So we're using offcuts, and we're going to cut these into random little pieces. So absolutely perfect to be buying the offcuts here. So again, just make into little random tiny cuts, and it's up to you how big or how small you'd like it. about the size that I like but you could go much bigger you could you know put pieces down that size if you wanted to
Okay, now for the, um, the buffalo, the bone of the buffalo. So I'm using, put a mix together of tiles, three different types which look rather lovely when they're all together and just adds, adds a bit more pizzazz. I'm just going to do crazy paving again to cut them into about sort of four or five, four pieces I'd say. Just work your way round. the buffalo skull we're going to make little tiny little squares so we're going to cut each tile into quarters some little little sort of um, shards so I'm going to take one of these quarters and I'm going to cut it if possible cut it four times sometimes you might be able to do three this one three if you just want little little pieces this is going to make a decorative design in the background just adds another sort of focal point to the overall design, another bit of interest. Now I'm going to cut the grey mix for the background and we want three different cuts. So, the first cuts we want are just random crazy paving cuts. So, I start off, usually, you can start anywhere, but I cut the corners off so I know I'm not accidentally going to make squares. My cuts are going to be crazy paving, random, and not accidental little quarters, which is very easy to do if you, started off in the middle. 